Good afternoon. Welcome to our Thanksgiving Chapel in the 2016-2017 school year. Let me start off by thanking Melina Shirillo for her wonderful music as we joined uh, chapel today. So I don't know that much about the harp. And Melina's been playing for three and a half years. And she wrote to me last night and she said, Mrs. Keidel, I have a bigger harp now. So can we figure out where it should go? So I asked her just before chapel today, what's the difference? And she said she used to play a lever harp. And now she's playing a pedal harp. So she's moved up a level. So it's very, very cool. And it's such beautiful music. And we're so proud of her. So thank you, Melina, for sharing that with us. I do want to say there are still some empty seats in the audience, so if you're crammed in the doorway, you will not hurt my feelings if you walk in and um, fill in the seats that are, that are here so that you can see a little bit better. I also want to recognize everybody in the audience. You look fantastic on our dress-up day. Don't you think? <laughs> I think you all look great. You did a good job. This is how they'll even put a dress on. I don't wear dresses that often, but I thought dress-up day, I better dress up as well. So I wanted to recognize some of the efforts that you all have been contributing to over the course of the last couple of weeks. So the first is the Lord's Pantry. And the entire school has been gathering supplies. And earlier this week, the third grade went to the Lord's Pantry and made a delivery of the items that the entire school has collected. So you'll see there's some pictures. And about 17,500 people use the Lord's Pantry to access food um, for those who have what's called food insecurity. So I wanted to thank you all for your contributions to that and to be very proud in third grade. I'm so glad that you went and delivered those items um, and you seem to um, have learned a lot by that experience. In addition, our student government did a collection for the Coatesville Veterans Affair Medical Center, and you can see a picture there of the personal supplies that they delivered. So I wanted to congratulate this community and thank you all for your contributions for both of those efforts as we lead into Thanksgiving. <laughs> Parents who are here in the audience, just a quick housekeeping detail. Make sure when chapel is over, your children will return to their classrooms and you should go retrieve your children in the classroom. Please make sure that you speak with the teacher as you are exiting, saying, you know, I am here, I have Lucy, and we're heading out. Just make sure you check out. And then I also wanted to take a moment to recognize the alumni that have come back today. We have a reception for them in the library after chapel today. But could I have any alumni who are sitting to stand up and any who are standing just wave? All my alumni, can you wave? Look all the way in the back and around. We are so glad to have you back. And it really warms our hearts. And I know the faculty really look forward to this reception after chapel to hear what you're doing and what opportunities you've got involved in and what your plans are. So thank you very much for taking time to be here. We will now recognize birthdays that are coming up. Uh, we had a couple in the few days leading up to today's chapel, and then we have a, quite a few before our next Friday chapel. So I want to recognize those birthdays. Last Saturday was sixth grader Cole Brassington. On Monday was fifth grader Caitlin Leahy. Also on Monday was eighth grader Henry Lukens. And Monday was also 8th grader Sam Lukens. And on Monday was 8th grader Spencer Gilbert. Today is Mrs. Kramer's birthday. Works in the farmhouse. On Thanksgiving Day, the 24th, is 4th grader Rachel Samoz. Also on Thursday, the 24th, is pre-kindergartner Lucas Graff. On Friday the 25th is Kindergartner Brooklyn Doran. 
On Tuesday the 29th is kindergartner Jake Julian. Okay, he's on vacation. On Tuesday the 29th is Mrs. Norris. On Wednesday the 30th is fifth grader Ege Gungor. On Thursday, December 1st, is first grader Tucker Pol Polavina. Okay, shh. And on Thursday, December 1st, is also Mrs. Walton's birthday. So let's sing happy birthday to all of our friends. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to our friends. Happy birthday to you. So to start off our Thanksgiving Chapel today, I would like to invite students from the class of 2018, Karina Devas and Jake Diaz for our first reading. Be thankful by author unknown. Be thankful that you don't already have everything you desire. If you did, what would there be to look forward to? Be thankful when you don't know something, for it gives the opportunity to learn. Be thankful for the difficult times. During those times you grow. Be thankful for the limitations, because they give you opportunities for improvement. Be thankful for each new challenge because it will build your strength and character. Be thankful for your mistakes. They will teach you valuable lessons. Be thankful when you're tired and weary because it means you've made a difference. It's easy to be thankful for the good things. A life of rich fulfillment comes to those who are also thankful for the setbacks. Gratitude can turn a negative into a positive. Find a way to be thankful for your blessings. Find a way to become thankful for your troubles as they can become your blessings. I just want to speak briefly before we sing for you. Um, the kindergarten class and I have accomplished uh, some great things together as we have worked to prepare this musical offering for you. In addition to reinforcing what we're learning about projecting our singing voices and working together as a musical team, this particular performance has provided an opportunity for them to not only learn how to use and hold a microphone, but to also explore their individual singing voices which is something we don't often get to do in the context of our group performances. So with that in mind, I invite you to sit back and enjoy as we make this special memory together.
bright blessed day, the dark sacred night. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I'll never know. To myself, a wonderful world. Gratitude unlocks the fullness of life. It turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos to order, confusion to clarity. It can turn a meal into a feast, a house into a home, a stranger into a friend. It turns problems into gifts, failures into successes, the unexpected into the perfect timing, and mistakes into important events. It can turn existence into real life and disconnected situations and import, into important and beneficial lessons. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. So thank you, Maggie and Evan, for that reading as well. Today, part of our chapel, I have a special treat for you. I have invited Betsy Barker to return to Montgomery so that we could take a moment to recognize her. So if I could ask her to join me on the stage. Today we are happy to have the opportunity to recognize Betsy for her 20 years of service to Montgomery School. We are also happy to have her daughters who attended Montgomery here as well, Becca, class of 01, and Kate, class of 03, in the audience. While at Montgomery, Betsy taught fourth and fifth grades and taught many of the students and alumni in the audience today. So if you had Mrs. Barker, could you please stand? or wave if you're an alum. <laughs> Thank you. Betsy is an amazingly committed individual to every endeavor she takes on. Her colleagues have enjoyed working with her and have realized her commitment to Montgomery School community. She is a dedicated teacher driven to do what is in the best interest of her students first and foremost. Over the 20 years she taught at Montgomery, she taught over 360 students, plus their families, and all of us. 
Betsy has been a supportive colleague and a consummate professional. It goes without saying that we miss seeing her on a daily basis, but we are so glad to have her in the area so close to the school. Betsy, we hope you will be a frequent visitor to the school. In recognition of your 20 years at Montgomery School, we'd like to present you With this Montgomery School Chair inscribed with your name to thank you for your many years of service with us, please join me in congratulating Betsy upon this accomplishment. Thank you so very much.